Time to be out in the in the rainforest. I'm finding myself very drawn to that close and intimate sort of photography. that it wasn't going to rain much uh, was completely incorrect. Give me a thumbs up to say, I don't know, well done for getting out in the rain. There's something magical about being in the rainforest, in the mist and the rain. It's, uh, it's completely reinvigorated me. photography so much I, I've basically taken no video. something I would do by myself so luckily this week you might see behind me I've got a friends along literally a minute after we packed up a cloud came over a collaborative challenge of who can take the most creative photos 
um, which I'm a bit scared about. Woodland photography on a very steep slope with lots of boulders and try not to kill ourselves. So I've just got to Belangeri Custom. Why can't I not say this properly? <laughs> to Belangeri Cascade. I've got to Balanjui Cascade. I've got to the Cascades. <laughs> Oops! <laughs> There's it's a big hole. <laughs> I cannot stop talking to them. So I'm not really aware of fires being through, and there was a really interesting spot uh, further back where it was, there was a, like a hard line between the burned area and the non-burned area, which was really interesting. Now, I believe they are Antarctic beech trees. And I didn't realize there was any along this track, which is pretty unobservant of me since I've walked down here before. right here is why it's great finding little pockets close to home because you can know spots that you can go back to and if you happen to wake up and the conditions look good you can get out there quick. day for a wander in the woodlands. I'm going to sit here and enjoy this view while I have something to eat and a cup of tea. research do I do before I go away? Shitloads. <laughs> is, is that the technical term? That's the technical term. Okay. That's what we in the industry call it. Okay. 